Monica's daughter Leia asks for a trip to Anguilla. I want to read some. Oh Lord, do I still have my ovaries? Yes. Do yes, oh, you I do. I kept uh, I kept all my parts, um, which made the surgery more difficult. Probably would have been easier to just take everything, but I don't think I don't think I should do that yet because I would I would love to get married again, one day. You know. Thank God you're okay. We'll keep you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Vani the Great says, y'all don't run out. What does that mean? I want to understand. Hi. My daughter says hi. Um, say my, you my twin, little mama. <laughs> hey, girl. Let's <laughs> do question. You, um, yeah, we're going to do some. Yes. Let's see, but God, in that it, you better know it. I said it every morning when I would open my eyes. In the first couple of days, I couldn't sleep more than about two hours, but I still couldn't move. So it was a, it was very strange. But I tell you what, gratefulness is something that I'm not running short of ever. They say you look like your daddy. Oh. You look just like your daddy, and your daddy's mama. Mm -hmm. You look like Gigi. At least they have all their teeth. Well, you're going to get your teeth back. Okay, because you fly without teeth. Hmm. And let me know if somebody say otherwise. You already know what time it is with me. You say skin so healthy. I have been, I have been taking care of myself. And I tell you one thing I've been doing is drinking a massive amount of water. And I have not had caffeine since surgery. I have not had chicken, beef, or pork since surgery where are the boys so it's summertime Romello is at his friend's Cole's uh horse farm that he's there and Rocco is with my old he's with Malik so my two oldest are together Peanut say hi Leia hi please come to West Palm Beach let's go <laughs> this girl <laughs> This girl love the beach. <laughs> do you still do the Peloton? Oh, yeah. Yep. I'm the goat. Mm -hmm. uh, well, thank you. Hi, good morning. What? They didn't say good morning. Look. She said Team Scorpio right there. Oh, they did say good morning. What's, maybe it's morning where they are. Take um, me with you. <laughs> and where you want to go? Mm. What are you Anguilla. looking forward to on Mommy's show tonight? Anguilla. Anguilla, me too. I'm looking forward for you to take me to Anguilla. Agreed. What are you looking <laughs> forward to with the show? Um, seeing Brandy. Well, no, we're not on this one. That's That was a mm. one-time thing. This is more like... What's the show? It's Infamy, the one mommy was leaving oh, to do. Oh, the show. Yes, it's that <laughs> one. She knows what's going on with me because she likes to be very informed. What time I'm getting back, how long it's going to take, and what's going to happen. Okay, make it move again. It That's wasn't a question. Moving. It wasn't moving. Okay, is that how it goes? Laughing. Monica I would have. Oh yeah. Never she says she would have loved the Monica Aaliyah song. That Aaliyah? would have been amazing. Aaliyah. They say they love your hair, Princess. Thank you. <laughs> Do a filter. It said no. Oh please, no filter. Mom, too old for that. Okay. What makes this different from like how you talking about them crazy faces? I don't mind. Ooh, I don't like them. <laughs> Let me see. Do me. Love you back. Oh, is it going one. to be a season two? I will hope there will be a season two, but that will depend on the amount of support um, that you guys give the show. That's why I've been trying to make sure everyone knows about it. Um, I have some great ideas for season two, um, but I, I would say yes, because it is very informative. It gives you the opportunity to hear about the people 
in depth. You learn, you'll learn more about Lorenzen. You'll learn about um, his mom, Miss Deborah. You'll learn about the people that really loved and supported him that are missing him on a daily basis. I did not get to meet with the families. The show went, sat, and talked to them. And I'm thinking that that could be very interesting to add next time. Because, you know, with with what's happening right now, we have to be really careful. You have to remember that even filming, every single person literally tested, what was it, every other day or every two days, we were not leaving the state. We were trying not to leave our pod. So it was really difficult. Um, we, we didn't want to go and be in multiple people's spaces and going state to state and doing things like that, you know. So it was really, really important to, you know, be as careful as we could. I'm glad I joined your live. I wouldn't have known about the show tonight. I would be watching. Yes, please watch. Yeah. When did you start filming? Cindy, you remember when we started filming? I don't remember the exact date. 2002. It was cold. I remember that. Because a sweet little lady, the sweet little lady um, on set bought me electric blankets. 2002. No, mama. Yeah, it was freezing outside. <laughs> 2019. You see, listen, I know I know y'all can clearly see she looks like her dad, but you see she makes the same faces as me all the time. Would you you see? <laughs> she just did it again. <laughs> she did it again. Um Oh yeah, God first always. Always. The show comes on VH1. And yes, I am releasing trenches soon. Um We'll start releasing records from it because MoTalk, uh, my Apple TV, Apple Music, it's my Apple Music um, television and radio show. It's a combination of both. So you can see it and listen to it. Okay. Thank you, girl. She said she said a reminder. Brazil, please. Ooh. That would be amazing. Wow. Yeah, you hear frogs in the background. Um, oh, yeah, I hear them. Yeah, they go crazy. Uh-huh. They go crazy. It's thousands of them. It's got to be. It's, it's. They're hiding for you. They're hiding for you? Or me? Oh, Tamla sure. Man was speaking to me where? I didn't see it. What'd you say? I absolutely love, 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 love her. From the bottom of my heart. And and every time she sings, I boo-hoo like a newborn. Because y'all know I've been up through there. So when I hear Miss Tamala, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't even explain it. And Leia, when she was a little girl, Take Me to the King. She was saying, Take Me to the King from sun up to sun down. Mm -hmm. Miss Tamala, we love you. I did not see it on here. I'm trying to read them faster. I know. Okay. Sing, take me to the king. Sing, take me to the king. You shy? I don't remember it. This is my only child that will sing. I don't remember it. You don't. That tickles. And you sure sang it nonstop. (laughs) Miss Tamla, listen. She she sang, and it's almost like my tears shoot out like somebody firing an automatic. Like I'm hard to reach. Miss Tamala reaches, reaches the built, the broken, the barriers. She reaches it all. But that's when you know, that's that's what anointed means. That's what, when God puts something within someone that is greater than what we understand, Miss Tamala is an example of that. Like, no if, ands, or buts about it. And then the fact that her personality and her spirit matches everything that you see. That's rare in this business, including in gospel. Do not be fooled. I met some of them that's worse than the rappers. Let's keep it all the way funky. Miss Tamla is the truth, though, and so is Mr. Man. I love the way he look at her when she performing. He be like, grinning. (laughs) You say that's called the Holy Ghost? Okay, period. (laughs) Please believe it. 
You got six. You like people. all of my music? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. How many of you guys have already was candy what? Oh, I wasn't there. I don't <laughs> get in other people's business. Hey, KK. Hi. And yo. Hello. I seem to process life very deeply. Did this help you in deciding to host this particular type of show? Loss made the decision for me. I've lost so many people that mean so much to me in so many different ways. But after the loss of my uncle last year, giving families a voice means something completely different to me because I I don't feel like my family will ever get, you know, it's, it was said to be an accident, but it doesn't change that he's gone. And so for me, nothing ever feels like closure. Nothing ever feels like it makes sense. And nothing ever feels like enough. And so if we give them a little bit of honor and respect and opportunity to tell their short story and really share, it makes me feel good about it. So my losses really helped me make this decision and the fact that I am a fan of true crime series anyway. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I don't know about, I, I have no problem with touring when it's safe to. Uh, I am not that. I don't influence people one way or the other to do so or not do so. However, you know, I'm extremely careful and safe. So touring for me hasn't been in the conversations at all. What advice do I have for you entering your 40th birthday? Enjoy it. I don't feel any different. And you know, a lot of people are hesitant to tell their age. I don't get why. Because if you're not aging, you're not living. Seven. You seven, girl. <laughs> I agree. Families do need a voice. Mo love you all the way from New Orleans. You know how I feel about New Orleans. It's felt like it. that's like a second home. I come there. I get comfortable. I enjoy the food, the people, the culture. I still got to go. Ask what? Okay. Coco? Yeah. Well, I don't know how to ask her. Let me see. Oh, look, your uncle Hancho is on there. You see? We love you, Cho. Get on the car thing. You want him to get on the car thing? Yeah. <laughs> if he pops back up, I'll ask him if he cool to get on there. Y'all can't tell me Lay don't look like Mo. She don't look like me. No, no. No, she's her father's twin. No, I am not. Bad. No. Um, you're entitled to your opinion, but let's not... Um, Speak to each other in a disrespectful manner. Um, you can't say that someone's stupid because they've chosen not to do something because you don't know the discussions myself and my doctor have had, especially with the condition that I'm currently in. So I'm doing what's best for me, and I suggest you do what's best for you, and that would include watching your mouth. Thanks for tuning in to Newborn Arrival.